Hi everyone! How are you doing? Welcome again to Channel Codeboard, with a new topic of how to configure Windows Server in Amazon Web Service. Amazon Web Service is one of the most popular cloud platform nowadays, and they also provides full one-year free usage, with some limitations. So without any more delay, let's start. Once you will log in in AWS, you can see a page like this. Now go to the Services at Top Bar. From the expanded menu list, click on EC2. In the EC2 summary page, you can see various details. Now I can see, no instance are running right now. Let's click on the link. You can see everything is blank, because we have not started any server yet. To create a server, click on Launch Instance. Now you can notice the list of server types. There are different operating systems and configurations. Few of those are free tire eligible, which means you can use those for free of cost for one year. There are Windows servers, as well as Linux servers, which are free tire eligible. Today we shall proceed for Windows Server. So let's select Microsoft Windows Server 2019 Base. It is a 64-bit Windows Server. Now you will get to see different configurations for this server. Different kinds of CPU and RAM memory are available. But for free we can use this, which is T2 Micro. This will have one CPU and RAM of 1 GB. Let's select this and click on Configure Instance Details. Here you will get to see different other configurations for the server. Just keep it as it is. Let's go to the Add Storage. This is an important step. Here you have to select the hard drive size for your server. By default you will get 30 GB of SSD. To add more storage, click on Add New Volume. But remember adding new space will cost you more money. For now, let's go ahead with default storage. The next step is adding tags. This is used to identify the server in different use cases, which are not in the scope of this video. But let me show you that you can add tags for this server in a key value pair. Let's proceed for configure security group. I think this is the most important part. Here you have to allow your server ports to communicate. By default, you can notice that for RDP 3389 port is allowed. This 0.0.0.0 means all IP are allowed. So from this entry, I can say, from any IP I can connect with this server, via RDP. If you want to restrict RDP access for specific IP only, you have to specify that particular IP in source field. Now we shall add two more rules here. One is HTTP to allow 80 port of our server. and also HTTPS to allow 443 port. And also you can add any descriptions for your references. And finally we are ready to launch our server. Before final launch, you can just review all the information you provided in earlier steps. Once you are done, just click on launch. Now it will ask you to create key pair. This will be used during login into the server. Select create a new pair from the drop down and provide a name. Click download key pair. One key file will get downloaded. Just keep it as it is for now. Click on launch instances. You will get to see the message that instance is starting. It will take few moments. While it is launching, let me request you all, please subscribe channel code board. Your like, comment and subscription motivates me to create many such tech videos for all of you. Here we go. You can see the instance is running now. Click on action and select get Windows password. This will ask you to provide the key file. Just upload the file. Now you will get your username and password to log in into the server. Let's open Remote Desktop. Provide the public IP of the instance to connect.
Use the username and password to log in. And bingo! We have a brand new desktop is ready for our use. Now we shall set up a HTTP server here. Just open Internet Explorer. Sadly you will not get any other browser pre-installed, but obviously you can install one. Let's download and install ZAMP. You have to configure few security stuff here for Internet Explorer. So, ZAMP is ready. Let's start the Apache only. And let me test localhost. So that's working fine. Let me now try from my local system. Just put the public IP to access the ZAMP server from AWS Cloud. Well, it is not working because we have to configure Windows Firewall. Let's go back to the server window. Find the Windows Firewall and configure it to access SAMP from outside world. For simplicity, I am just disabling it for now, but this is not recommended at all. Let's go back to my personal system and open the IP now. Well, now it's ready to view. Let's create a HTML file very quickly in server. Okay. We can open our HTML file from the server. So that's it guys for now. Let me know your feedback in comment section and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.